One important formula is using the integral of x to the n dx. This is equal to x to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. We use this formula when n is not equal to negative 1. So I expect you to ask, what if we have negative 1 as the exponent? So what is the integral of x to power negative 1 dx? Or what is the integral of dx divided by x? Whenever you see dx divided by x, or whenever you see du divided by u, this integral is equal to ln of absolute value of x plus constant of integration. So in general, if you have the integral of du divided by u, this is ln of absolute value of u plus constant of integration. We need absolute value sign as well because we are not sure if it's a positive value or not. And remember, from algebra, log with base e is natural log or ln. Very good. With this information, we're going to continue and do some calculations. The integral of du divided by u is ln. And now we're going to see some examples. Suppose I ask you to calculate the integral of dx divided by 2x. So remember that when you have the integral of k dx, you can write k in front of the integral. So as long as you have a coefficient like k, you can take that and write it in front of the integral. What is k in this case? Our k in this case is a half. This is the integral of a half dx divided by x or a half integral of dx divided by x. But the integral of dx divided by x is nothing but ln of absolute value of x plus c. So you just need to write it as a half times ln of absolute value of x plus constant of integration. You can simplify this as well. By the properties of ln, if you have a or k or any number in front of ln of u, this is ln of u to power a. So this a half is the exponent of your ln. This is equal to the ln of square root of absolute value of x plus c. Why is that? Because this can be written as the ln of absolute value of x to power a half plus c. But power a half is square root. If you have u to a half, it is square root of u. If you have u to power m over n, this is the nth root of u to power n. So that's how we calculate the integral of dx divided by 2x. You get ln of square root of absolute value of x plus c. Let us make it more interesting for you. Now suppose I ask you to calculate the following integral. What is the integral of dx divided by 2x plus, I'm going to add a number on the denominator. What is this integral? 
what method helps us to calculate this integral? 2 times x plus 3. Well, since we have a quantity on the denominator, we're going to use u sub. u is 2x plus 3. du is 2. dx or dx is du divided by 2. Very good. My integral becomes the integral of du divided by 2 over u. Or in simpler form, I have the integral of du divided by 2u. Well, as we saw before, if you have k as a coefficient inside your integral, we can write it in front of the integral. So this integral can be written as a half integral of du divided by u. But the integral of du divided by u is ln of absolute value of u plus constant of integration. So your integral becomes a half ln of absolute value of u plus c. What is u? u is 2x plus 3. So you get a half ln of absolute value 2x plus 3 plus constant of integration. But again, remember that from algebra, if you have a times ln of u, this a can act like an exponent. You get ln of u to power a. So we can simplify this integral further into the ln of absolute value of 2x plus 3 to power a half plus c. But again, if you have u to power a half, this is square root of u. These are all algebra reviews for you guys, which can be written as ln of square root of absolute value of 2x plus 3 plus constant of integration.